Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and today's video is going to be about what I am getting my husband for Father's Day. Um, let me see. I'm trying to think. So um, for June, I don't know what I was thinking back way back in 2007, but we got married on June 1st. So we have our anniversary and then we have Father's Day in June, but then also thrown in the mix <laughs> my daughter's birthday is on the june 12th so we just got a lot of things going on in june so for his i don't know what because i'm like does it really matter if it's for our anniversary or if it's for father's day like as long as it, you know you get in something you're good so um sorry um so I got him an Apple Watch. I'm not very Apple savvy, but I got him an Apple Watch because he's been wanting um, a watch. He had one, uh, it was an Apple one, but he had a watch and um, it died out. So he's been wanting one and I was like, oh, okay, this is a good opportunity for me to have a good idea. So I had told him like, Oh, I'm going to get you this because I wanted to make sure, like, if that's what he wanted. Um, I was like, I can get you this. Which one do you want? Kind of thing. Um, blah, blah, blah. So, got that. And then I was like, it could either be an anniversary gift or, gift or Father's Day gift. And it turned out to just, I guess, be a random gift. Because I ended up also, like, on our anniversary, I bought him the... He's a Patriot fan, so I bought him the Apple Watch Patriot um, little wrist things. I bought him the blue one. But he didn't really like it because he likes black. So because I don't know, he wears like a lot of black and he's just like black would go better with everything kind of thing. But um, I returned the blue one because he didn't want it. And then I ordered the black one. And then in the midst of ordering it, he's like, oh, I don't want it. I still haven't even received it from the mail. I ordered it from Amazon, but I haven't received it. So when when I get it, I'll be returning it and then I have to figure out something else to get him because I have to replace that gift like I don't know he'd be taking me through but so for Father's Day I didn't get him a whole whole bunch of stuff or anything like that because I don't know I'm not like rich and I don't like really like I'm a stay-at-home mom and wife and stuff like that so um yeah I don't really mm -mm. anyway so I got him a few things um oh yeah and for anniversary i also bought him a book it's called the 5 a.m club for anybody who's looking for gift ideas that's supposed to be a really good book um so yeah i don't know anyways i'm a hot mess so for father's day i didn't get him a whole bunch of stuff i'm just like hopefully he'll like it because he's he's so picky y'all like it's really really hard trying to get him stuff because he's so picky and then it just like ruins the element of surprise so anytime i'm able to surprise him like I try to do that but um so let me just get through this what I got him so the other day he was mentioning he needed a water bottle we have water bottles I don't know why he needs a new one but you know whatever I got you so I got him this little water bottle um it's a fairly reasonable price I think it was only like 17 or 18 dollars on Amazon and um let me see it comes oh it comes with a little straw cleaner or whatever. And it comes with, oh my gosh. Um, oh, I'm messing up his stuff. It comes with three lids. So I'm gonna open all this stuff anyways when I put it in his little gift bag for him. But it comes with the lid. I like these ones, just simple, just keep it simple. It comes with this lid. And then it has this one that you just have like the screw top, easier kind of thing. And then um, I think, I don't know what size it is. I wanna say it's a 32 ounce. And then it has this one with the straw, which I guess that this little thing is for. So yeah, and it's like insulated or whatever. So it's supposed to keep the stuff or code and then yeah it has a little straw thing in there too um i'm pretty sure he's not going to use that um he's more of one of these type of people anyway so it has that and then oh man i should probably order some stickers huh and hopefully that they'll get here 
before Father's Day so that he can have stickers on there. Um, so I got him that because he mentioned he needed a water bottle. This I seen on TikTok. It is so little. Like I knew it wasn't big, but in my mind it was big. Like I did not imagine it would be this small, but it's the Egyptian magic um, lotion or it says skin cream lotion, whatever. Um, it's supposed to be really good. I, I've been wanting to try it, so I got it for the both of us. I don't know. We, I don't know. He always does that to me, so, like, now I'm getting him back because I've been wanting it, so I ordered it for us. He always, like, I promise you when he gets me gifts, he's like, oh, I wanted to try that. I'm like, oh, so you got it because you wanted to try it. And then the other day we were, well, yeah, on our anniversary, actually, we were at the mall. And um, we went to Barnes and Nobles and we were looking at books and stuff. I wanted to look at like um, Oculant Witchy books and over in the section that they had it, they had like a lot of self growth and self development books. So he had seen this one and he's like, oh, take a picture of that. You know, like we can put it on our list because we get we get a lot of books. One of us reads and one of us doesn't. You guys could maybe guess. But anyways, um so he was looking at this one and so I ordered him. It says it didn't start with you. How inherited family trauma shapes who we are and how to end the cycles. So, I thought this was pretty awesome. I read the book The Body Keeps the Score and that one was really 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 a good book. It's like I don't know, it took me a minute to get through it cuz I don't know why, because it wasn't really like a hard book like that. But it took, it didn't really take me a long time, but it took me a minute, like, I guess to process it and sit with it and all that stuff. But that's a really, really good book. And it gives you a really um, good way to kind of look at trauma because a lot of times things happen to us. And I'm like going on a side tangent. But anyways, a lot of times things happen to us and we're like, oh, just get over it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. But no, your body keeps the score. Your brain changes. Um, the, you know, like your whole like, I don't know what it would be like your anatomy. I don't know. It changes. Like it literally changes who you are because of whatever trauma you've been through. So when people are like, just get over it or it's not that bad or whatever, like it is that bad. Like I'm a whole new person now because of the BS you didn't put me through. And I don't think people realize that. And sometimes like, you know, just in general, things are going to happen in life. Um, people don't do stuff to you on purpose. They're just working through and living through what whatever it is that they're working through and living through. And I know like, especially with our generation, the way that we were raised and our parents, like even though they tried and did the best that they can, like we all crazy. And that's why you're seeing everybody on TikTok trying to get it together. But so it's gonna work out. And this is just another book for us to be able to read and try and get things together. So it says depression, anxiety, chronic pain, phobias, obsessive thoughts. The evidence is compelling. The roots of these issues may reside in the traumas of our parents, grandparents, and even great grandparents. So yeah, that's another thing that I've been reading too. Like trauma is like literally passed down through your DNA. So that's great. Well, not, not just trauma. Like, you know, obviously a whole bunch of things are passed down. Like, you know, traits, characteristics, mannerisms, um, hair color, eye color, skin color where your teeth like all that stuff like it's just so crazy and like those things are passed down too and that's why you see like sometimes like within a family like you see a lot of farmers or you see a lot of doctors or you see a lot of criminals or a lot of aggression and anger and like because it's all just passed down and you you're like whether that person's in your life or not you're a part of them their dna is like in you so it's crazy and then so that's like a tangent sorry y'all i'll be talking a lot um so then the other thing that i got i got my honey these two journals so that my girls could give them to him um i don't know if they usually try to use their own little money and get him some from like the dollar tree but um so i don't know if they're going to do that this year or not but if not i got them i got them these journals so that they can you know, build their little lives together and get closer with their daddy. I thought this was so cute. It says, love dad and me, a father and daughter um, keepsake journal. At first, I was thinking to get them two different journals um, to do with him. But then I was like, I think smart or not, Carter kind of thing. Because I'm like, if he's writing both of them, like, and although he can still do it with both of these books, but it, it also gives him an opportunity, like, because he's going to be answering questions. It's like questions back and forth that you answer with each other. Um, and 
he could, you know, when he's writing them, he could kind of copy from one to the other kind of thing. Or he can make it personal. Just depending on, like, what it's really asking. Like, if it's asking, like, what's your favorite color? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's something simple, but it might be asking, like, stories and stuff. I don't know exactly what it says. But the book looks like it, um, it says a grown daughter's perspective. And then it gives, like, her story or whatnot, the author's story. And then it has um, some stuff in there. Looks like where you can color in there and then um oh that's cute you put a picture it says you and me and then hello world our full names and so there's a line for the for both their full names and then it says we sign our names like this we call each other we are blank and blank years old today we launched this journal and then the date and then it says our journal guidelines so it gives Oh, that's cute. I like that. Is our journal top secret or can anyone else look inside? Okay, if someone finds this journal, they should, you know, and they have the checkbox. Do we have to answer prompts in numer numerical order? And so it just kind of sets some ground rules on that, which I like because then that keeps both of them accountable for, you know, managing their journal. And then so it has questions. It says, is there a specific date when this journal must be completed? Okay, so that's still going over, like, the ground rules. So then here it starts a letter. It says, Dear Dad, and then he can write back, Dear Daughter. And it says, Dear Dad, what's something I do that makes you happy? Oh, so I guess he would write right here what makes him happy. And then it says, Dear Daughter, what's something I do that makes you happy? And then she would write. And then, um, oh, so I guess they could put pictures. It says, our excited faces, our frustrated faces, our laughs, our cries. And then, let's look. Here's a picture of you and me, some more pictures. And it just seems really simple. This one says, Dear Dad, tell me about a special gift I made you when I was younger. Do you still have it? Could you draw a picture of it? And then on the daughters, it says, Dear Daughter, what kind of things do you like to make now? Could you draw a picture? And so it's just like really simple, I guess. It would be more so like they're going to customize it because it's really personal but about that specific child. And so that'll work too. It doesn't seem like you have to do too, too much, but it's just something back and forth to get some conversations started and sparked and um, just something because kids need a lot of like personal me time and since it is father's day i wanted them to have that if you google how much like undivided attention a, the average child gets every day it's like crazy i think it's like three minutes three minutes a day there's 24 hours in a day i know we sleep a lot but three minutes of undivided attention a day that's not a lot and then so even with that imagine how much undivided attention you're giving your spouse your partner um whatever like we we live in a chaotic world and I want to get back to being centered around family and having family first. So this is a start. And then me and my husband, we do our own little stuff together. Um, we talk a lot. We journal. Um, we just try to do different stuff to incorporate in our life, just depending on where we're at in that season so that we can connect. But yeah, so those are the gifts. Hope you enjoyed the video. Nothing too fancy. Like ladies, men want to be treated good too. And I know that some people can go all out and be elaborate, but it's, it's really just the simple things. If you have a normal person, like some people you cannot satisfy, they will not be happy no matter what you do. Some people don't even deserve stuff because they're just mean and angry. But if you have you a good partner, um, and even if you're a man watching this, and you have you a good wife or it's just the little things that you could do for somebody that make them happy so that's the point of me doing these little videos showing what i'm getting my partner for this or that just because to spark some ideas it doesn't have to be a million dollar idea because that's how my husband when i have um money i'm gonna do i'm like you don't need to have money like i'm sim i'm simple in the fact that i just appreciate stuff i appreciate everything we we don't know when it's going to be our last day. I'm not about to be upset. I don't like designer things and stuff like that. That's not me. And it's not because I'm, you know, I don't feel like I deserve it or anything. I just, I think it's stupid. I think it's a waste. I think there's, I, buy me a house. I don't want no bag. Buy me a house. 
buy me some land, buy me some investments or something like that. I don't, I don't want no freaking designer bag. That's stupid to me. Um, and then a lot of them designers don't even like people like me. Mm, no, I'm good. So, um, just, yeah, just think of the simple things. If that's all you can do, if all you can do is all you can do, that's it. And a person should appreciate it. Um, I had a conversation with my daughter the other day. I'm still going long with it with this conversation. But I had a conversation with her the other day in regard to like, you know, when people give you stuff, like if somebody had $5 and they gave you their last $5 versus somebody who has 1000 and gave you 100 like that is a big difference. Like if you have a thousand, you could give somebody a hundred, but if you only have five and you give them five, that's giving them your everything. And that's, that's a big difference. So just think of stuff like that into the next video. Bye.